In this video, I'm going to write a C program to count the number of digits in a string. So first we'll make a test string. We'll say cars is equal to, and we'll have some letters and some digits here. And then we'll have maybe some symbols as well. And what we want to do is count just the number of digits in the string. So this string has nine digits in it. So we'll write a function to do that. We'll say here int count digits. And the function is going to accept a string as an argument, and it's going to return the number of digits in that string. We're going to include a couple of libraries to help us write this function. We're going to include string.h, because the string.h library has a function called strlen that finds the length of a string. We're going to be able to use that to help us. And we're going to include the ctype library, because inside the ctype library, there's a function called isDigit that's going to let us know whether a character is a digit or not. So next we'll provide a definition of the function down here. And the first thing we're going to do is find the length of the string. So we'll say int length is equal to strlens. So strlen, that's the string length function that comes with string.h. It's going to find the length of a string and we're going to store it into length. And we're going to use that to know when we've reached the end of a string with a counter variable in a loop that's going to look at each index in this string here. So we'll say here, for int i is equal to zero, i is less than length, i plus plus. So here we have a for loop with a counter variable i. We started off at zero, the first index in the string, and we increment it by one each time. So it's going to go through each index of the string here until we reach the length of the string. In other words, until we reach the last character of the string, then we're done. And what we're going to do is each time in this for loop, we look at a character, we're going to use that is digit function to determine whether that character is a digit or not. And we're going to keep a running count of all the digits we encounter. So I'll say here int count is equal to zero, and that'll be the variable that stores the running count. And then inside the for loop here, I'm going to say if is digit, and we're going to pass it the character of s at index i. And we're going to do count plus plus if this is true. So this here is the character of the string at index i, the character we're currently looking at in the string. And we pass it to is digit. And is digit is going to return true if that character is a digit. And in that case, we increment the count by one. So by the end of this, we'll have a, a tally of all the digit characters in the string. And we can just return count. And then we could test this function out by calling it. So we'll say here int result is equal to count digits and we'll call it with s and then we'll print out the results we'll say print digit total and we'll output the result and so then i'll compile this here and run it and we should get back nine and we get digit total of nine and so we've written a program in c that can count the number of digits in a string Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.